The original Rode NT1 was introduced in 1991. It was known for its high quality sound capture and low self noise, and it quickly gained a reputation for its transparency and versatility. Fast forward to today, and the legend continues. Now, I just want to start out this video by saying I am giving away this microphone to one lucky viewer. I'll be announcing the winner in seven days on my Instagram. I'll share details on how to win the giveaway later in the video, but for now, slam the like icon and let's chat about this new studio condenser microphone from Rode. So why is it so legendary? Why is it so popular? Well, this microphone has one of the lowest self noises out there that you can find coming in at 4 dB of self noise, which is honestly just incredible. It's good stuff. In addition to low self noise, it also can handle high SPL. So you can throw it in front of a guitar cabinet, in front of drums, you can use it as drum overheads. Obviously it's gonna work well on vocals, but it's nice to know that if you invest in this microphone, you can use it across any source. And last but not least, they did fit an HF6 one inch gold sputtered capsule in there. That's really hard to say, but it's a true one inch capsule. So you know, it's going to sound great. Now tucked away inside of the box, you're going to find a dust cover for the mic, the Rode NT1 itself with its iconic look and design. Rode's also offering a limited number of these mics in a variety of colors. So be sure to check the link in the description to see what's out there and what's still available. Included in the box, you're also going to find the SM6 shock mount and a branded pop filter. Finally, they give you a cable and a sticker. Now, I just love that they give you all of this for the price point that it's coming in at. It's truly an insane value. And outside of the monetary value standpoint, I really love the design of the shock mount and the pop filter. I like that it's all one thing. It makes my life easier when I'm setting things up in the studio. It's just one less thing that you gotta deal with when you're setting everything up. So clever design, love it. So I know what you're all thinking at this point, Steve, this mic doesn't make me mortgage my house like the Classic 87 does. So surely there has to be some sort of compromise in sound. Well, you'd be wrong. I didn't say that this was a legend for nothing. And since this is an Australian born mic, I figured what better way to test this mic out than in a horribly unforgiving environment with an Australian artist Katrina Burgoyne. I'm in my hubby in a honky tonk. He scooted in around 10 o'clock. Come up and ask me what drink I want. I caught him, I ain't mad, the donk a donk. He started flashing his credit card. Playing a cool, but he was trying hard. But the moment that he stole my heart was when he asked me to dance. Here's our two-step and tall glass of water, honey, I wanna drink. Here's a hot honk of men who wrote me in before I could think. About what my mama told me about the birds and the bees and how cowboys won't stay long. Now I've really enjoyed this mic and been really impressed so far, but if you're still curious on what it sounds like on other sources, here's a few more tests for you guys. So if you were wondering if this microphone works good for podcasting, how does my voice sound now? It definitely sounds better to me than this lavalier mic does. And if you're wondering why I never use a microphone uh, in my videos, I've actually been asked that a million times since I started the channel. I really just don't like having a mic in front of me and the camera while I talk. Uh, it doesn't feel as comfortable to me while filming. So um, yeah, but it definitely sounds better. <laughs> so there you have it. What about something else? Let's try it on another source here. Dead strings, but... Now I know it might sound ridiculous, but um, I wanted to do a banjo because it's a bit more percussive and it'll give you a better idea of how it handles transients. Pretty good. Now, of course, if you're using um, if you're using a banjo, it's heavily dependent on like finding where the mic kind of reacts the best to it. You can hear here as I move.
totally different tonal response, but this video ain't about banjo. So the funny thing about the NT1 is I know a number of people that have had it in their mic locker for years and they just rave about it. And the funniest part is that I had already known how good the NT1 was for a long time. It's just never been in my mic locker and now it's still not in my mic locker because someone watching this video is going to be receiving this mic. I say all this to say is that I really think that this mic belongs in everyone's mic locker. The value alone just doesn't get any better. They give you the house. The sound quality rocks. It's super transparent. You can use it on drums, guitars, cabinets, podcasts, you name it. And of course, if you're just getting started into recording, you're just building your first home studio, it's one of the most affordable mics out there. And you're not sacrificing sound quality to get a hold of one. So start your journey, look no further. The Rode NT1 rocks. All right, so giveaway time. So you wanna win this bad boy, you wanna win this whole package. Here are the rules. One, you've gotta to subscribe to the channel. Two, you've gotta follow me on Instagram. Three, you better like this video, you gotta like the video. So the fourth thing that I'm asking you guys to do is leave a comment below and tell me what kind of genre of music that you make at your home studio, how long you've been in this journey, how long you've been making it, and what kind of videos you'd like to see more of on this channel. I know I cover U80 and Luna all the time, but I like branching out, it's a lot of fun to talk about new things. So let me know what you'd like to see. I will be picking a winner based off the comment section. So you've got to have a comment there. Then I'm going to double check that you're subscribed and following me, etc. Now, if you've clicked on this video and the contest has ended, no worries. You can still get a hold of the microphone. I've left an affiliate link in the description below. Using that link will allow me to do more videos like this, more giveaways, and ultimately keep doing what I do on this channel, which can hopefully continue to grow the rest of this year into the next year and the year after that. I really appreciate Rode for reaching out to me and letting me create this video for you guys. And thank you to everyone that's watched and participated. Until next time, guys. Cheers.